Gator here, and welcome to the Thomas F. Breeden Preserve at Milford Bluffs here in Hunterton County, New Jersey. It's a small preserve uh, that abuts up against the Delaware River, similar to Goat Hill Overlook, which is a few miles down south. But um, it's Labor Day weekend, it's Saturday, it's a beautiful day, maybe the nicest day of the summer. There's only about five other cars in the parking lot, so this place is a little bit off the beaten path. Let's see what it has to offer. Let's go for an adventure. Let's check it out. Onward we go. Gator out. The trail starts out on this, uh, what looks to be like an old woods road. And uh, we're climbing in elevation, obviously, place is called uh, Milford Bluffs so we are going to a high point but um, it's a beautiful day it's about 78 degrees and we got here at about four o'clock in the afternoon so we have about a good three hours of daylight sunset should be around 7 30 I think So, as we now exit the uh, Woods Road, we enter into this giant, magnificent field. This field of native tall grasses we're walking through. Uh, some of these grasses are six to eight to ten feet tall. They're over my head. and. Uh, it makes you feel like you're in the prairie. It feels like Kansas. I knew from looking at the satellite imaging that we were going through a field. I just didn't know it was going to be a field like this. These grasses are high, and I would recommend you wear your tick repellent, your bug repellent, because these grasses are encroaching onto the narrow footpath. All right, guys, the trail is now running along the top of the bluffs, parallel to the Delaware River and there seems to be some small little side trails that lead out to little rock ledges and overlooks. But I'm gonna follow the trail as far as I can to see where it goes and then we'll be sure to check out some of these really cool looking overlooks. The trail is beginning to uh, descend and on the left is this very steep v-shaped hollow with with some very large oak trees and to the right is the river there's a lot of noise emanating from the river it's from these uh guys on jet boats and jet skis and they're having a good old time looks like a lot of fun let's check it out Just a gorgeous view, looking down south on the other side of the river, of course, Pennsylvania, 
and that is the Milford Bridge and the small town of Milford in New Jersey is on the left. Now, the trail continues down into that, that deeply shaded valley, and I want to just check it out to see how far this trail goes. I know we're near the edge of the property, but we'll definitely be spending some more time out here hanging out. One more thing to note is the eastern prickly pear cactus, which is the only cacti that grows in this part of the country, is found in this preserve. So we're going to keep our eyes open to see if we can spot one of these rare specimens. That would be a good sighting if we could. This tiny tributary in this cool shaded V-shaped valley. It's essentially running dry now, but it probably makes for a beautiful, lovely little cascade after any type of heavy rain. Now here's a look at the red sandstone bluffs from just underneath. As we're continuing along the base of these cliffs, I think I found what I'm looking for, and this is pretty exciting for me. But check this out down here. A colony of eastern prickly pear cactus. And it takes very, very special circumstances for this plant to grow. The climate has to be very hot, very dry. They thrive in poor soils, but all along this the base of these cliffs is a very, very large and very healthy population of this succulent, the only one of its kind in this part of the country. Who would have known within less than one hour's drive from Philadelphia, you could find cactus growing in the wild naturally. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these beautiful, healthy specimens. Just so cool. Never come across anything like this anywhere in the area. And you can see, it just continues along, along the base of the cliffs here. I'm surprised we haven't come across any snakes actually sunning themselves so far. All right, so if you watched the video on Goat Hill Overlook, the terrain here is similar. Um, the difference being this place is, I think it's just less well known. Uh, seeing the cactus was really awesome. And the view here is, uh, is very nice. 
Uh, you're not quite as high here as you are at, uh, at Goat Hill, but it's much more peaceful. There's hardly anyone here. Um, beautiful way to spend the summer evening. Well, I decided to walk to the other end of the field, followed a very faint trail, and now it appears to be possibly one more overlook, this time facing upriver. So I'm going to try to get down to it and check that out. See what we see. Well, this looks like the location to shoot the sunset heading up river. You can see this cliff drops straight off. You got to be careful here because this very loose scree. But you can see down there that's river road and train tracks. I think they're no longer in use, but I'm not sure. It'd be awesome to see a train come by. Gator out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 